Hello, and welcome back. It's me again, and I have again found a horse. This week, I'm going to try to give you some important information that I left out last time that's super important you should have known. Also, last time, we had a lot of trouble with the sound because of the wind, so I decided to come out here at this time so that we'd have trouble with the lighting instead because we're a zero-budget production, and we always need to be having a problem. All right, so one really important thing that I never mentioned before when you find your horse, as I found this one, you need to befriend said horse or you can't get on. In order to befriend said horse, you need to offer the horse either a gift or kind words. But I find the most effective is to just give them a hug. I have now befriended the horse. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get on the horse if you have found them and they have nothing on them like I have in this case. It's basically the same, except much harder. And when they're stopped, you kind of climb, you just kind of climb on. You just climb on. Basically is what, it's basically what you, you just, yeah, that's how you. Another important tip is it's okay when you're in a fenced-in area like this to ride facing the same direction as your horse. But when you're out on a trail or in the middle of nowhere, you got to be facing the opposite direction. You got to watch your horse's six at all times. And well, when you're watching his six, he's watching your six. So nothing can ever sneak up on you. Got it? Horses are also ideal for taking naps on. I could do that for hours. When you're done your ride and you've either gotten off or fallen off, as often happens, you then thank your horse with either another hug or with a some sort of payment. They like money, they like food, they like fancy cars and clothes. Just pretty much anything you got, they'll take it. Okay, I gotta go.